Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today is an exciting day. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Behind me is my 2020 Ford Expedition FX4 package. I have a bunch of videos out about that, lifting it, putting bigger tires on, and so on. But today we got another accessory that I've been waiting for for a while. We have a new to the market roof rack. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you are a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. I just want to tell you our October giveaway is done and congratulations to Brad for winning $6,400 of Sonic Tools. All he did was purchase one t-shirt on gastax.com and be subscribed to the channel and he won a $6,400 tool set. The next giveaway runs from November 1st all the way till January 31st for $3,700 of Sonic Tools. Now that the office work is done, let's jump into today's video. Very exciting from my buddy Kingdom Overlanding. He has custom designed and now manufacturing these roof racks for the 2018 to 2022 Ford Expeditions. Not the Max quite yet. He's working on the Max version, but let me tell you some specs. Firstly, this thing weighs less than 60 pounds it's made out of quarter inch aluminum and it has slots on the side for 10 inch leds right here is my led but i'll do a video explaining all the different lights i've chosen for my roof rack today we're just going to show you how easy it is to install one of these and how it looks on my ford expedition let's do a quick walk around of my ford expedition that's what it currently looks like with the stock roof rack So nothing fancy, just the regular roof rack. Let's jump over to see all the parts here. Obviously we have a left side and a right side. Here's the front fairing. And then we have six crossbars. Let's go in, remove the stock roof rack. I'll show you how easy that is. And then let's install this baby. So I just took a flathead screwdriver, stuck it in here and pulled up a bit. And you'll see there are only two little clips. They clip in here. And then there are two 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna undo those and move to the front. Let's jump on to all the rest. All right, let me show you where I'm at so far. So we have one bolt here, two bolts in the rear, two in the middle, but this has to slide back to get to the two. So you just have to pry this off again, pretty simple with a flathead screwdriver. That pries right off because that just clips into these. Now we undo this and that should slide all the way back. All right, now that that's out, let's head to the back and pull it. Oh, you actually push it forward. There we go. Yeah, you push it forward, guys. All right, last two in the middle to remove this mount. Let's head over to the other side. All right, guys, now that that's all removed, let me just show you everything that has been removed and then we can get installing. Quite a bit actually comes off. I have about 20 bolts and all of that pieces. Since the roof rack comes with these holes for the 10 inch lights, it does not come with the mounting spots because every light's different. So what I'm gonna do is actually drill these holes right now so I don't have to do it when it's on the car. So that is how much space I have to work with. So I'm just gonna mark the holes on all of these mounts, pre-drill them so when I wanna install these lights, it makes it much easier to do it on top of the car. All right, guys, now that is pre-drilled, let's do it on three more and put it on the car. All right, now that I have all the holes pre-drilled, that will make my life easier. But be sure you subscribe because that's not going to be in this video installing the lights. That will be in the next video. Another quick announcement is I am every two weeks giving away one of these mini Sonic sample toolkits. So for the last four weeks, I have not announced the winner. All you got to do to enter is go to gastax.com and leave your email address. Then you automatically enter so congratulations to Holmes and Jose Valdez. I'll be sending you guys an email later, so make sure you send me your address so I can ship these out. There is one side on. That is it, you use the stock hardware to bolt it on. Man, this thing is rigid. I haven't cranked it down yet because we still got the fairing and that side. So let's do that side, then I'll do the fairing, then I'll make sure everything's tight. Let's jump under the fair. All right, I assume it's easier to do this with two people so you don't scratch up your car, but I don't have two people, so I'm gonna grab a towel and lay it down. 
So don't scratch the car. <sighs> the antenna does help a little. <laughs> now on to the other side. Ooh. All right, now let's crank it down. And now that side's done. I'm gonna walk around and crank down the main mount. Alrighty guys, so there it is on right now. Everything is tight, tightened down. What do you think? It's looking good. Looks like it's a bit off center. Push it a bit left there. The slots are adjustable in here so I can bring this side a bit. But what I'm gonna do now is install one of the X bars across the back. I have put this rear crossbar on and it clears the trunk. Now, one thing I did wrong is I walked around and tightened everything before putting the crossbars on. Do not do that. Leave them all a little bit loose. I'm gonna put all the crossbars in now, and then I'm gonna crank it down. That will square things up based on the crossbars. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna take it for a spin and see how much road noise there is. We are done. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so we have six crossbars on the top. We have our fairing in the front. Man, I gotta tell you, this thing is beefy. Check this. <sighs> Rocking the car, no problem. Let's climb on the ladder and check it out. So there we go, guys. Plenty of uh, space to store your stuff. Sunroof still opens, and yeah. Well, guys, now that it's done, I'm gonna take it for a spin. Let's see if it makes some noise. You can see the roof rack through the gloss there. I'm just about getting on the highway, pulling on right now, and let's see if there's any noticeable difference in noise. I don't anticipate there being any because of the fairing. So, let's see. All right, we're going 60 miles an hour here, 70. There's a little bit of uh, wind noise, but honestly, only because I'm paying attention to it. But it's more of the crosswind that is happening because uh, it's windy outside. Other than that, yeah, like now there's no noise. It's definitely just the crosswind which you get anyway. So I'm pretty happy with it. Honestly, I, I might just be making that up. <laughs> It seems normal. If I didn't know I was on the roof, um, then I probably wouldn't notice. Well guys, there you have it. My roof rack from Kingdom Overlanding is up and installed. Minimal to no road noise. Honestly, I think as because I was listening, I could hear something. But guys, now I'm gonna install the lights, so be sure you like, subscribe, so you can gain your free entry to the Sonic Toolbox, and so you don't miss out the next video. Again, if you're looking for this roof rack, link down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you then.